Good afternoon, good afternoon. Once again, we're here in the house here at Mount Pleasant Baptist Church. We want uh, all those who wish to come, we would, if you like in-house study or to be in present, uh, we ask that you come. Our doors are open so that you can come and study in person. Uh, we thank God for each of you study with us. We um, also uh, giving you time to pull out your homework, giving you time to pull out your homework. Amen. Time to pull out your homework should be May 26. Uh, we're talking to Isaiah 36 through 40. Isaiah 36 through 40. Let us pray. Eternal Father and our God, we say thank you for this, another opportunity, another privilege just to come and to study your word. We ask and pray, O oh God, that you would help us not only to be hearers, but to be doers of your word. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Isaiah 36 through 40, question number one, list two kings mentioned in one verse. It's found in Isaiah 36 and 1. Now it came to pass in the 14th year of King Hezekiah, that Sennacherib, king of Assyria, came up against all the defense cities of Judah and took them. All right, so your answer should be Sennacherib and Hezekiah. In what language was Rabshakeh requested to speak? 36, 11. Then said Eliakim and Shebna and Joah unto Rabshakeh, Speak, I pray thee, unto thy servants in the Syrian language, for we understand it. And speak not to us in the Jews' language, in the ears of the people that are on the wall. All right, speak to us in the Syrian language. Name the father of... Isaiah 37 and 2. And he sent Eliakim, who was over the household, and Shebna the scribe, and the elders of the priests covered with sackcloth unto Isaiah the prophet, the son of Amos. Amos was the father. How many Assyrians were slain? By the angel of the Lord, 37, 36. Then the angel of the Lord went forth and smote in the camp of the Assyrians a hundred and four score and five thousand. And when they arose early in the morning, behold, they were all dead corpses. All right. A hundred, four score, and what? All right. That's 185,000. Uh, yeah, 180, yeah. Okay, all right. <laughs> By prayer, how many years were added to Hezekiah's life? 38 and 5. Go and say to Hezekiah, Thus saith the Lord, the God of David thy father, I have heard thy prayer, I have seen thy tears. Behold, I will add unto thy days 15 years. All right, 15 years. What miracle came a sign that Hezekiah's prayer was answered? 38 and 80. Mm -hmm. Behold, I will bring again the shadow of the degrees, which is gone down in the sundial of Ahaz, 10 degrees backward. So the sun returned 10 degrees, 
by which degrees it was gone down. All right. The sun would turn backward. <laughs> uh, who was the successor to Sennacherib? 37, 38? Mm-hmm. And it came to pass, as he was worshiping in the house of mm, Nisroch, his god, that Adramelech and Sherazah, his son, smote him with the sword. And they escaped into the land of Armenia. And Esarhaddon, his son, reigned in his stead. Amen. Can y'all imagine preaching all those names? Lord have mercy. <laughs> Give chapter and verse recording Isaiah, Hezekiah's prayer about a letter. Uh, 37, 15 through 20. Mm-hmm. And Hezekiah prayed unto the Lord, saying, O Lord of hosts, God of Israel, that dwellest, that dwellest between the cherubims, thou art the God, even thou alone, of all the kingdoms of the earth, thou hast made heaven and earth. Incline thine ear, O Lord, and hear. Open thine eyes, O Lord, and see, and hear all the words of Sennacherib, which have sent to reproach the living God. Of a truth, Lord, the kings of Assyria have laid waste all the nations and their countries, and have cast their gods into the fire. For they were no gods, but the work of men's hands, wood and stone. Therefore they have destroyed them. Now therefore, O Lord our God, save us from his hand, Mm -hmm that all the kingdoms of the earth may know that thou art the Lord, even thou only. Amen. Name four countries, number nine, name four countries conquered by Assyria. Now, there are many countries. All I need is four. If you put down more than four, you marked it wrong. (laughs) Um, 36 and 19. Where are the gods of Hamath and Arphad? Where are the gods of Sepharvaim? And have they delivered Samaria out of my hand? Anybody got more? I had 37 and 12. 37, okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, okay. I didn't hear that. Okay. If you got four countries, I all mark it right. List three of office holders in Hezekiah's kingdom. 36 and 3. Then came forth unto him Eliakim, Hilkiah's son, which was over the house, and Shebna the scribe, and Joah, Asaph's son, the recorder. Okay. True or false, there were no contacts between, or no contacts between Hezekiah and Babylon, 39 and 1. At that time, Merodach Baladun, the son of Baladun, king of Babylon, sent letters and a present to Hezekiah, for he had heard that he had been sick and was recovered. All right, so the answer to that is false, Mm -hmm. because there's contact. True or false, Hezekiah showed foreigners all of his precious things, 39 and 2. And Hezekiah was glad of them and showed them the house of his precious things, the silver and the gold and the spices and the precious ointment and all the house of his armor and all that was found in his treasures, There was nothing in his house, nor in all his dominion, that Hezekiah showed them not. So the answer is true. He showed everything. Be careful. (laughs) Mm -hmm. True or false, Hezekiah did wrong by showing certain things to visitors. 39 and 4. Then said he, what have they seen in thine house? And Hezekiah answered, 
All that is in mine house have they seen. There is nothing among my treasures that I have not showed them. So the answer would be that uh, would be uh, true. Because the question was for. That means I don't. Well. I didn't answer it because I didn't see anything that spoke to it. To it, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that said that he did wrong. Right, I right. I mean, the prophet asked him. Mm -hmm. What he did he show? Said, right. I don't right. Know, so All I left right. it blank. So. <laughs> True or false, Isaiah predicted that in Hezekiah's day, God's judgment would fall upon him, 39.8. Mm. Then said Hezekiah to Isaiah, good is the word of the Lord which thou hast spoken. He said, moreover, for there shall be peace and truth in my days. Hmm. Uh, 39, 6? I got 6 and 7, too. Okay, okay, okay. Somebody read. Behold, the days come that all that is in thine house and that which thy fathers have laid up in store until this day shall be carried to Babylon. Nothing shall be left, okay. saith the Lord. Mm -hmm. And of thy sons that shall issue from thee, which thou shalt beget, shall they take away and they shall be eunuchs in the palace of the king of Babylon. Okay, so that's the judgment, okay. All right, true or false? Hezekiah submitted and said, good is the word of the Lord. Then said Hezekiah to Isaiah, oh, you didn't tell me. The Go ahead, Go ahead. Read. Read. you got it. Right. <laughs> then said Hezekiah to Isaiah, good is the word of the Lord which thou hast spoken. He said, moreover, for there shall be peace and truth in my days. Okay, true. How many got all 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, less than 10 what you need? All right, all right. <laughs> that, that, yeah. Yeah. All right, all right. I will. The battle. We want to um, finish up the lesson, previous lesson. So this battle of spiritual growth. I'm going to finish up that um, and then move on to this next one. Uh, we all agree that it is a battle. It is a battle. We s discuss uh, that this world is the devil's network. It uses the things and that we're still being tripped and caught up by the flesh, which is, which is the enemy within all of us are saved, but we're still in the flesh. Please, if you're saved and you're not in the flesh, please change your membership. Amen. Um, because I have people in the flesh, and they do not add up to that, that uh, standard of operating, amen, without their flesh. So all of us are in the flesh. As long as you're in the flesh, the flesh wars against the spirit. As long as you're in the flesh, I don't care what you claim, as long as you're in the flesh, the war goes on. Amen. I want to pick up on, on C and then go forward. Dressing for spiritual success. The flesh is there. But you have something within you that you must allow to supersede and override the flesh. Amen. God has saved you and has given you 
of the Spirit of the Holy Ghost to super rule and super, and you got to let the Holy Ghost do the ruling in your life. Amen. Uh, 1 John chapter 4, 4 through 6. And we're glad to have reading a deaconess, Patrice Burwell, and a secretary, Sister Virginia Moody. Amen. Ye are of God, little children, and have overcome them, because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. They are of the world, therefore speak they of the world, and the world heareth them. We are of God, he that knoweth God heareth us, he that is not of God heareth not us, hereby Know we the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. All right, before she start, notice in King James they use that word, they, we. Mm. It's very important. They are of the world. We mm. are of Christ. It's a difference. Always look for things. In, whenever you're studying scripture, always look. Why did they say they and we, which mean they're talking about two different groups of people. Mm. The world have a group. And we as believers who are Christians are a group. We're not supposed to act like they because we're not they, we are we. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. All right, so often the we is trying to act like they mm -hmm. and the they saying, come on. Okay, whereas if the we said that to another we, the we would say, no, that's against our what we would believe. Um, okay. okay. But you belong to God, my dear children. You have already won your fight with those false prophets. So the first thing you got to admit or get in your mindset that I belong to God. Mm -hmm. And so if I belong to God, I can overcome the situations, the circumstances, the feelings and all that stuff. I belong to God. I'm no longer myself. Okay, go ahead. Because the spirit who lives in you is greater than the spirit who lives in the world. All right, all right. So you got to begin to ask, that, have I really given myself over? Am I saved? And if I'm saved, the spirit resides in me. You, you got to be, so often, we, just because you come to the building don't mean that you got the spirit in you. Amen. Amen. But once you get are convinced within yourself, I'm saved, I've accepted Christ as much as I've really accepted, the Spirit resides in you. Okay? And then it is at that moment you allow the Spirit and always recognize the Spirit. Mm -hmm. Amen. Go ahead. These people belong to this world, mm -hmm. so they speak from the world's viewpoint. Mm -hmm. And the, the world, world listens view, to them. Watch this. The world viewpoint is different from Christians' viewpoint. And the world's people only speak from the world. That's why we got to listen to people when they're talking. Mm -hmm. We got to listen to people when they're talking. And even uh, a couple of weeks ago, a uh, person who is, and, and I'm not saying this person is not saved. I'm not saying, please don't get me wrong, don't care. That. Not saying that that person is not saved. Right. But even as, as Christians, we got to be careful, even how we talk. And sometimes we got to catch ourselves, mm -hmm. say, this is not of God. Huh? Huh? We do not back up anything that the Bible don't back up. Mm -hmm. Amen. So we even when we're praying, when we're talking, if we're going against this, we got to sometimes catch ourselves Make sure that this is right, even if you're wrong. It, somebody going to get that. Make sure the word of God is right. All right. Even if you have to admit that I'm wrong. That's good repentance. Say, Lord, it's me. I, I, I'm lined up with your word. So, so God, is I'm wrong. To help me. That's what the spirit will make you do. All right. Because how many of you know in your flesh, even with your, your salvation, 
there are tricks that the enemy will pull and you'll catch yourself saying, remember, and I think we did it earlier in the lesson, he works with the mind. He works with the mind. If he can get your mind off and you don't pay attention or he'll slip things in on you. Okay, go ahead, I'm sorry. And the world listens to them, but we belong to God. That is why those who know God listen to us. All right, those that know God listen to us. Mm -hmm. Tell somebody, I don't know it all. No, I don't know it all. Uh, I don't I know it all. See, that's why I, I find out a lot of times that you don't really find a person until you put them in office. <laughs> they're all lined up nice before, and then they get in the office, and now they think they're over. Oh, you got to be careful. Okay, that's why you got to pray. You can't rush. You can't jump on them. Some folks are all right till you give them a title. <laughs> Amen. And so, uh, go ahead. I'm sorry. Okay. If they do not belong to God, they do not listen to us. That is how we know if someone has the spirit of truth or the watch, spirit of watch deception. This. You got Christians that you can't talk to? That's not, no, if you're a Christian and I'm a Christian, I should be able to talk. Yes, our flesh is going to rise up, let's be honest. You don't always speak at that time. But if that person got the right spirit, sooner or later we should be able to talk to each other. Hello. Mm -hmm. Okay, go. That was it. That was it, all right. The Bible tells us how to dress for spiritual success against Satan and his forces. Satan and his forces. You know he got demons, y'all. He got a crew, a crew that hangs out with him. Amen. <laughs> Come on, James. Chapter 4, 7 through 10. Submit yourselves, therefore, to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Draw nigh to God, and he will draw nigh to you. Mm -hmm. Cleanse your hands, ye sinners, and purify your hearts, ye double-minded. Be afflicted and mourn and weep. Let your laughter be turned to mourning and your joy to heaviness. Humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord, and he shall lift you up. So humble yourselves before God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. So he said, if you humble yourself and resist the devil, the Bible declares he'll flee from you. Mm -hmm. The problem is, I don't have to take it. I'm just as grown as he. Sometimes, that's what the enemy do. Stir you up and get you up where you cannot humble yourself so that you can resist. Hello. Humble yourself, resist the devil. The word declare, he will flee from you. Go. Mm -hmm. Draw close to God, and God will draw close to you. Wash your hands, you sinners. Purify your hearts, you hypocrites. All right, wait. Right. Notice, draw to God, and then God will come close to you. Sister... French, who used to be one of our, our church clerk, mm -hmm. long time church clerk, mm -hmm, she often asks the church the yeah. question between God and you. If you seem far from God, who moved? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it wasn't that. If you draw nigh to God, draw near to God, God will draw near to you. I notice the text says, cleanse your hands and purify your heart. Cleanse your hands, because you can't be God and man at the same time. Flesh and spirit wars against each other. Mm -hmm. You either walk in the spirit or you walk in the flesh. Mm -hmm. Can't have it too ways. Mm -hmm. 
So when you find yourselves at that, number one, cleanse your hand, wash your hands, get yourself together, clean your mind, and then purify your heart. Okay, God, what are you trying to say? Okay, God, it's me. I've, che I've checked the word out. The word is not wrong. It's me. So always be able to humble yourselves. All right, go ahead. Let there be tears for the wrong things you have done. Mm -hmm. Let there be sorrow and deep grief. Let there be sadness instead of laughter. You know, don't go around boasting because you've grown and then I did something and now you think just because no one said something. No, he said, no, no, get yourself together. Once you know that this wasn't according to the word of God, humble yourselves. Don't be stuck up, proud, and all that pride in you. Go. When you bow down before the Lord and admit your dependence on him, mm -hmm. he will lift you up and give you honor. When you let God know I'm dependent on you, it says he will lift you up. That's so nice. I love that. I love that. I love that. Um, our strength is in the Lord. Okay, what is it? I'm on page four. Our strength is in the Lord. It's not us. Right. It is God. You and I could be nothing, do nothing without him. Our strength is in the Lord. So he gives us a wardrobe that we need to put on and dress up in. We have a wardrobe. You can't just put on any armor to fight the devil. Amen. Uh, Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10 through 13. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principality, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, mm -hmm. that, ye may be, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all, to stand. A final word. Be strong with the Lord's mighty power. Put on all of God's armor, so that you will be able to stand firm against all strategies and tricks of the devil. So that you'll be able to stand against what? All strategies. Strategies. Watch this, because you'd be surprised that the enemy is sitting back trying to plot to see how they can come against you. And, what, and even he knows he can't stop the kingdom, but if he can hold the kingdom up, Right, we got to learn how to take the enemy's weapon and use it against them. Use things. And a lot of times, uh, I believe God, God gives us uh, equipment and shows us how to, he puts it there for our benefit, but if we don't learn how to use the equipment, then that equipment is no good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen? Mm -hmm. Amen. The more I... I I look at this world and this world system, the more I says, okay, that can benefit us or this can harm us. This can benefit us. This can harm us. And we got to be always learning. Right. Amen. Mm -hmm. I, I'm doing the history of, of, <laughs> of Baptists for our, our convention, uh, for our Congress, mm -hmm. and the more I'm reading the history, mm -hmm. one of the things I picked up as they were constantly looking to do things better, mm -hmm. and they failed, but they kept on trying. Mm -hmm. Could it be sometimes our failures is to help us to keep on? Mm -hmm. Sometimes he don't give us the new thing because we, we, we stopping. We're satisfied with the way we're doing. Right, right. Hello. We got to get in our mind. And I learned that. I'm learning that because the more I look at that history, Man, 
I, it, it blows my mind, and I see how, how, how they became so viable mm -hmm. in this technology because they didn't stop. They split, mm -hmm. but they kept going. So, so whatever happens, we got to keep going. Don't be satisfied. Always be looking to make us better. Mm -hmm. Amen? Come on, y'all. Y'all admit sometimes we get stuck in our way. And sometimes when we say no, or when we say we can't, we block our own self. Why not say, let's try it? How can we do this? All right? All right? I, I, I didn't mean to get in all that. But sometimes we need to give you more training. How many of you think y'all know it all? Okay, nobody. So if you don't know it all, that means we can always search for training. That's right. Amen? We gonna always search for training. Uh, one of the reasons I go to the December conference is it, it's not for the church. That's the only one I don't go to and, and try to represent the church. Uh, when I go there, I go there to see if I can do better. Mm -hmm. Amen. December conference, if y'all ever, amen, get a chance. It's a nice conference. <laughs> go ahead. I'm sorry. Or <laughs> For we are not fighting against people made of flesh and blood. We're not fighting against people. We get stuck on people. We're not fighting against people. Look at somebody say, I'm not fighting against people. I'm not fighting against people. Right, right. The, the reason we lose the battle is because we start fighting people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And the devil laughing at us. Because mm -hmm. now we done stopped doing what God told us to do. Done got mad, done sat down, done gone and stopped doing what God assigned us to do because we got stuck with people. Go ahead. But against the evil rulers and authorities of the unseen world. Rulers uh and authority of the unseen world. Mm -hmm. Wow. Go against those mighty powers of darkness who rule this world and against wicked spirits in the heavenly realms. Wicked spirits in the heavenly, in the heavenly realms and this world is dark so you can't see it. And we think it's each other. Okay. Use every piece of God's armor to resist the enemy in the time of evil. Notice he's... The scripture says, use every piece of the armor mm -hmm. to resist, not for your glory, not to say, oh, I told you I couldn't be tempted by that. No. Use it to resist the enemy. Go ahead. So that after the battle, mm -hmm. you will still be standing firm. After the battle, when it's all over, you'll still stand. That's the aim of your weapon. Okay? Go ahead. That was it, okay? Uh, so, forget about your New Year's resolutions. <laughs> and some of us done broke it already. We done, we done lost that battle. I know that's right. <laughs> and, <laughs> and your promise to yourselves and to God that you're going to do better the next time. Our strength is in the Lord and his might. Not limited power of your own human. You and I can't do it. All right, and here's some more good news right there in 11 through 14. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Mm -hmm. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all, to stand. Stand therefore, having your loins girt about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness. It's amazing. The Bible tells us to stand firm. He don't tell you to go fight. He says, stand firm. Mm -hmm. Stand, stand. Because we have already won, but we as Christians act like we're defeated people, and we've already won. 
-hmm. He says, stand. Stand on what you believe. Stand on the word of God. Stand on your conviction about the word of God. Stand. All right. We should put on the armor, the whole armor of God. Mm -hmm. Please notice the first three pieces of armors, or armor are introduced with verbs that indicate a state of being. The belt of truth should be a state of being. You should have the word in you, mm. walking with you, carrying with you all the time. Mm -hmm. Romans 3, 5 through 3. Yeah, three through five. Okay. What, what did I say? Five through three. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let me, let me get For what if some did not believe? Shall their unbelief make the faith of God without effect? God forbid. Yea, let God be true, but every man a liar. Mm -hmm. As it is written, that thou mightest be justified in thy sayings and might as overcome when thou art judged. But if our righteousness commend the righteousness of God, what shall we say? Is God unrighteous who taketh vengeance? I speak as a man. True, some of them were unfaithful, but because they broke their promises, does that mean God will break his promises? Right, wait a so somebody come to you and says, well, I don't believe that. That's their privilege. But that should not change you if you know that's what the word of God said. Mm -hmm. It does. If they don't believe, they don't want to. That should not change you. You got to believe what God said. Amen. Please. And so often we, we move, we, we switch. Or, well, I don't know. I don't know. If you done read it and you believe it, this is it. So if they don't believe, that does not change God's word. Mm -hmm. Somebody's going to get it. I said, if you don't believe it, it does not change God's word. Mm -hmm. Wow. Go. Does that mean God will break his promise? Of course not. He, notice the writer said, of course not. Don't, mm -mm. Don't, just because they switch, that don't mean you switch. If God made you a promise... And you know it was God making you a promise, stand on the word of God. I don't care who gets mad, who, who stopped talking to you. Believe God. Mm -hmm. Okay. So everyone else in the world is a liar. God is true. Notice he says everyone else in the world is a liar. Let God be true. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They say, well, everybody else is doing it. Nope. I'll be the only outside of God's word be true. Mm -hmm. As the scriptures say, he will be proved right in what he says. Watch it. And he will be proved right in what he says. So I'm going to be on God's side. Because uh -huh. in the end, I don't care how the world goes, what the world endorses, and what the world, I'm going to be on God's side. Because in the end, God's word will be true. And he will win his case in court. But some say our sins serve a good purpose. Mm -hmm. For people will see God's goodness when he declares us sinners to be innocent. Watch this. He says, <laughs> he says our sins might be a good thing because then God will come and prove and forgive us mm -hmm. and it be right. See how they try to twist the world, twist the word. God said, I hate sin. Mm -hmm. Here he's saying, your mm -hmm. sin might be used to prove God right. Huh? We can get twisted. That's why we can't go with everything and folks are sweating and doing all that. Don't listen to all that junk. Stand on the word of God. All right. Isn't it unfair then for God to punish us? That is actually the way some people talk. <laughs> you know, um, 
You know, he was a good person. He shouldn't have went through that. You don't know what. Huh? Don't turn your back on God. So that was the belt of truth. Let the word be true. Let everybody else be a liar. Then there's the breastplate of righteousness. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, 20 through 21. Now then, we are ambassadors for Christ, as though God did beseech you by us. We pray you in Christ's stead, be ye reconciled to God. For he hath made him to be sin for us, who knew no sin, that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. We are Christ's ambassadors, and so God... Then, wait a minute, don't raise them. We are first place... When you're saved, you become Christ's ambassador. You are a witness. When they look at you, they ought to see Christ, that your words are not your own flesh words. It's words that Christ. We say it all the time. We are to be disciples who can make disciples so that we can exalt Jesus Christ. We don't make disciples to be a member of Mount Pleasant Baptist Church. We make the disciples so that we can exalt Christ. All right, go. And God is using us to speak to you. We God uses us to speak to others. God uses us to speak to others. God, because if y'all start hearing voices in your house, get out or go see a doctor. Amen. But if someone knock on the door and you open the door and they speak to you and you speak to them, your opportunity to be the voice of God. Amen. We urge you as though Christ himself were here pleading with you. Look at Paul. He says, I'm urging you as if it was Christ himself talking to you because mm -hmm. you're my ambassador. Go. Be reconciled to God. Be reconciled. In other words, get on the same page with God. Mm -hmm. Everybody want to go everywhere. Get on the same page with God. Start asking, Lord, what you would have me to do. Lord, is this pleasing in your sight? Right. Get right. on the same page with God. Okay, go. For God made Christ, who never sinned, to be the offering for our sin. And the so reason God made Christ to be sinned. Mm -hmm. God made Christ to be sin. Go ahead. So that we could be made right with God through Christ. So that we who are sinners can be made right with God. Wow. Made his son sin so that we could be right with him. Because God can't stand sin. God will not tolerate sin. So God made his son sin who knew no sin, took on sin, so that we who are sin can be right with God. Right, right, right. Wow. Mm -hmm. Go. That was it. All right. All right. So take on that breastplate. Know who you are in Christ. All right. Then there's the shoes of peace, Philippians chapter 4, 5 through 7. Let your moderation be known unto all men. The Lord is at hand. Mm -hmm. Be careful for nothing, mm -hmm. but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. And the peace of God, peace which of God. passeth all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. Let everyone see that you are considerate in all you do. No, notice the book says, let everyone see that you are considerate. Go ahead. Remember, the Lord is coming soon. Mm -hmm. And Don't... I think that that's something that escape, escape, we talk it, but how many of us believe it, that the Lord is coming soon? And if he's coming soon, mm -hmm. why do we act so lax in our walk? Huh? Go. Don't worry about anything. Mm -hmm. Instead, 
Pray about everything. He said, don't worry about anything, but pray about everything. 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 Pray about everything. Go. Tell God what you need and thank him for all he has done. All right. Notice, tell him what you need, but don't forget to say thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. It's all right to say, Lord, I stand in the need. But don't you close a prayer, don't you close a request without telling God, I thank you. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. I thank you. I, I was telling somebody, I said, you know, when you think you're doing real bad, all you got to do is look around. Mm-hmm. And you'll be saying, oh, I ain't doing all that bad. There's always somebody in a worse condition. Right, right, right. And you, I don't care where you're at in the level of life, there's somebody. If you do this, you will experience God's peace, which is far more wonderful than the human mind can understand. If you start asking and thanking God, he'll give you a mind of peace Mm -hmm. because you'll stop worrying because you'll say, Lord, I'm still blessed. You know, our nation could be over there in Ukraine. So, so I want, we, we're complaining about the shooting and all this shooting, this is bad. I hate to see it. But guess what? We, it could be much worse. Because of our law, the, those up there who make the legislation, if they put their act together, some of this stuff can be corrected. Right, right, right. Huh? Right, right. Uh, can, can I help somebody? Mm-hmm. If it go back even to the homes, because some of the stuff, it, it starts right there in our homes. Don't y'all tell me, uh, and I, I, I'm mind, mind boggled that, um, over the, that, that that young man was able to get two guns mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and come in the house. Where did he get all that money from? Oh. At 18, huh? Did he borrow from Larry? Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he borrowed, you know. <laughs> I mean, I never thought about that. and then... Go into school and oh, it's mind blowing to me, y'all. Uh, but yet we're not. We could be in Ukraine, so there's always a situation that's worse. All right, pray for those people. Uh, my next door neighbor, she had two folks she brought over and from Ukraine, and then mm-hmm. there. That, that, that. Oh. She, she, she got them and brought them over because out of that war country. And you could tell she's shell-shocked over that stuff. You haven't been in war until you've been in war. Amen. All right, go ahead. What's that? I'm sorry. His peace will guard your hearts and minds as you live in Christ Jesus. His peace will guard your heart and your mind. If you're in Christ, there's some stuff because you read the word of God. Don't upset you. Don't go crazy over. Yes, we feel sorry, but we also read the scripture, perilous time will come. These things must happen before I get back here. Christ tell us. So we as Christians don't look at this world as the world look at this world. All right? All right. Then the last three pieces are introduced with the verb take, meaning pick up as needed for a moment. There are parts of the armor you won't need every day, but you pick them up when you do need them. The shield of faith. All right. The shield of faith, Psalms 3, 1, 2, 3. Lord, How are they increased that trouble me? Many are they that rise up against me. Many there be which shall say of my soul, there is no help for him in God. But thou, O Lord, art a shield for me. Mm -hmm. My glory and the lifter up of mine head. Mm -hmm. Watch this, y'all. First we got the shield of faith. Our faith should take us through some stuff. I mean, we should not lose our mind if we talk that we have this faith. Go ahead, read. Oh, Lord, I have so many enemies. 
So first place, know that you as a believer, you got enemies. Amen. He's right. I got enemies. I don't care who you are, how good you are. Even, yeah, yeah, even your best friend got an enemy. Mm -hmm. Amen. Rosie King got enemies. (laughs) Hard to believe. (laughs) Rosie King got an enemy. Mm -hmm. All right, so first place, we got to acknowledge you got enemies. Go ahead. So many are against me. Mm -hmm. So many are saying God will never rescue him. All right, stop believing that God don't, can't see you and he won't save you. Mm-hmm. God will rescue you when you least expect it. Mm-hmm. But you, O oh Lord, are a shield around me. My glory. Watch that. You got to believe that. You don't see God, but God is that shield mm-hmm. around you. That's faith, y'all. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm not going against the enemy, but I know that I got enemies, but I also got a shield. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. And the one who lifts my head high. Mm -hmm. I cried out to the Lord, and he answered me Mm -hmm. from his holy mountain. Mm -hmm. That's faith. I cried unto the Lord. I got enemies. Don't ignore that that, that, that you don't have enemies. Acknowledge I got enemies. But I I don't stop working because of the enemies. I don't stop doing good because of the enemies. Because I got faith. That shield... That shield, God has placed a shield around me that I can do good oh, in God. the presence of my enemies. All right? Then there's that helmet of salvation, Isaiah 59, 16 through 18. And he saw that there was no man and wondered that there was no intercessor. Mm. Therefore, his arm brought salvation unto him, mm-hmm. and his righteousness, it sustained him. For he put on righteousness as a breastplate and a helmet of salvation upon his head. And he put on the garments of vengeance for clothing and was clad with zeal as a cloak. According to their deeds, accordingly he will repay. Fury to his adversaries, recompense to his enemies. To the islands he will pay recompense. He was amazed to see that no one intervened to help the oppressed. So he himself stepped in to save them with his mighty power and justice. The he oppressed put on, was being pressured, and no one seemed to help those that were oppressed. So he stepped in. Mm-hmm. He stepped in. We cannot forget the oppressed. Mm-hmm. Step in to help the oppressed. Won't be easy, but we've got to help them. Go ahead. He put on righteousness as his body armor Mm -hmm. and placed the helmet of salvation on his head. Mm -hmm. He clothed himself with the robes of vengeance and godly fury. He will repay his enemies for their evil deeds. His fury will fall on his foes in distant lands. God will fight our battle, but we got to lift up and help those who are oppressed. All right, it's not always about us. Sometimes you got to help somebody else. All right, last there is the sword of the Spirit. Hebrews chapter 4, 11 through 13. Let us therefore labor. No, let us therefore, wait a minute. <laughs> let us labor therefore, right, <laughs> to enter into that rest lest any man fall after the same example of unbelief. Mm -hmm. For the word of God is quick Mm -hmm. and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. Neither is there any creature that is not manifest in his sight. But all things are naked and opened unto the eyes of him with whom we have to do. 
Let us do our best to enter that place of rest. He says, we got to do everything to enter a place of rest. Our minds got to be at mm. rest. We can't really do what we're supposed to do if we're not in a uh, state or spirit of rest. Mm -hmm. Is this in talking this as he's not talking about death? <laughs> mm -mm. Amen. Our minds got to be in a state of rest. Go. Mm -hmm. For anyone who disobeys God, as the people of Israel did, will fall. For the word of God is notice, full. Notice, he didn't say Israel. He said anyone who disobeyed the word of God will fall. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. For the word of God is full of living power. Mm -hmm. It is sharper than the sharpest knife, mm -hmm. cutting deep into our innermost thoughts and desires. How many of you ever be reading the word of God and the word of God goes deep into you? And even when you try to shake it, it still be there and you, you're trying to compromise with it and it still be slapping you upside your head. I get beat up sometime by the word of God. Mm -hmm. uh, go ahead. It exposes us for what we are. Uh -huh. It exposes us for what we really are. Mm -hmm. Nothing in all creation can hide from him. God can get where nobody else can get. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Everything is naked and exposed before his eyes. Mm -hmm. This is the God to whom we must explain all that we have done. And I don't think we realize it. There's going to come a day when we're going to have to explain our decisions and everything to God. Wow. Why did you do that? You know you shouldn't have did that. What was your motive for doing that? He's going to already know. Right, right. <laughs> but we're going to have to stand before God. Go ahead. That was it. That was it. Mm -hmm. As we close on the bottom, uh, it's a very good statement. The devil can out-argue. You, you and I cannot beat the devil in an argument. Mm -hmm. Amen. The devil can out-debate you. But he has no answer for the word of God. Sisters and my brothers, don't argue with people. Just stay in the word. You stay in the word. Just quote scripture. The devil tempted Jesus, and Jesus used, if you go back to our beginning, he used the word of God. As believers, Use the word of God. And I don't care, even if they try to counteract with the word, make sure you keep the word in its context. Jesus said it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's not my word. This is God's word for the people of God. God bless you. I enjoy you. We're out of time. Uh, do your homework, and we're going to make sure you get it. I ain't finished with it. It'll be up on there. Just, it'll be in the rack soon. All right. Let us pray, eternal Father and our God. We thank you for your word. We thank you for this class. Help us to be not only hearers. Help us not only to meditate it, on it, but help us to become doers of your word. Make us the disciples that you would be pleased with. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. Thank you.